often called the nation's greatest living playwright. He is also, after a recent political conversion, one of its leading conservatives, David Mamet. Mr. Mamet published an essay for The Village Voice explaining that he had changed his political views. The title of that essay, Why I Am No Longer a Brain Dead Liberal. In 2011, Mr. Man Mamet expanded on his new political views in a book, The Secret Knowledge, The Dismantling of American Culture. We should note that Mr. Mamet has a new book, an e-book, out just now called Three War Stories. I ordinarily thank guests for joining me, but this is your spot, so thanks for letting us join you here oh, yeah, in Santa thank Monica. You for, thank you for joining me. My pleasure. The Secret Knowledge. My interest in politics began when I noticed that I acted differently than I spoke. Explain that, David. Well, I'm very, very uh, fortunate in my life as a Jew and having had two magnificent teachers, uh, one, uh, Larry Kushner, from, uh, who was then in Sudbury, who's now in San Francisco, and the other, uh, Mordecai Finley, out here at uh, Orha Toran in, uh, in Venice. And what they, they talk a lot about the, the underpinnings of the, uh, of the Torah and about the Talmudic teaching, Talmudic teachings about how one should behave. And they say, well, you have to behave in such a way that you can state your opponent's views such that he says, yes, that, those are my views. And he has to be able to restate your views to you so, so, such that you can say, he can say, yes, those are my views. And then when you both um, are conversant with each other's views, you have to adduce facts upon which you agree. We so say, do you agree that this is a fact? Do you agree that's a fact? So it's, you know, the Jews being a disputative people, right? This is what, where, where the Western um, history of law comes from, it's where mm -hmm. Blackstone comes from, mm -hmm. right? It basically comes out of the Bible, right? It comes, out, it comes out of the Talmud. So, okay, so first we say, those are, yes, I understand your views. I, I understand these are your views. You understand those are my views. We agree that these are the facts. And now we're going to reason from the facts upon which we agree to arrive at a conclusion. And that's how an argument could take place because, of course, all people argue. And that's what a democracy is. When people stop arguing, what you, you have is a dictatorship. So I started trying to apply that to my daily life and realized that most of what I thought was political thought was just the reiteration of recognition symbols, right? So if, if one looks at, because uh, I don't think it happens on the right, but, uh, but if, when you look at one look at the left, most of what passes for discourse is recognition symbols. Do we agree? Uh, are, are you as part of my tribe? There's nothing wrong with that, but it's just not. It's it's not. I realize that's not the basis for a life lived according to political principles. It's not gonna get you anywhere. So a recognition symbol, just to make sure I follow you, I drive a Prius, Yeah. and what I'm doing is conveying something about what tribe I belong to by choosing that brand or by choosing an environmentally conscious. Well, maybe, is that the sort of thing you mean? Sure, of course. Okay. But also, um, for example, I was talking to somebody um, about the movie I was going to do, and I said I was thinking of John Voight. They said, oh, John Voight, he's crazy. So. I mean, I happen to know John Boy is a friend of mine. He's certainly not crazy, and neither is his thought crazy. So that's that's an exchange. It's an right. interrogation. Right. Instead, it's like in other words, John Voight is conservative. That's what they really mean. Do we agree He's that John Voight's crazy? I was giving a lecture in, in uh, New York about political uh, political thinking very early on in my conversion, and one woman said, "Wait a second. Do you believe that the Earth is growing warmer?" And I thought, "My God, that's fascinating." Right. What I'm looking at is not a request for information or the desire to engage in, a, in an exchange of views or even an argument. What I'm looking at is a, is a, a, a cultural interrogation. Mm -hmm. Are you part of my tribe or not? Because if you're part of my tribe, we're fine, but if you're not part of my tribe, we can no longer talk to each other anymore. 